on guys just doing a very quick video for those that might have used the kcc network when transferring your ethereum over on qcoin into your metamask wallet again you must have transferred it to your wallet on metamask um, and also using the kcc network don't worry if you've transferred your ethereum from your qcoin to your metamask wallet using the kcc network what you'll need to do is head over to your metamask wallet over on here you want to click this button here which is um you come back to your you'll be on if you're main net you'll click this little button here click settings click networks and you'll add a network you won't see this right here because i've obviously added this one you're going to add network that will bring you across to this page come across to networks um manually add network it is i believe back to this a sec yeah add a network manually you come onto this page here now you guys want to add this so i'll leave a link in the description below of this but the network name is kcc mainnet the mainnet this um kind of link here chain 321 kcs as a as a symbol and then this block explorer url but again i'll leave a link to all this in the description below but get this added and you'll see on your metamask wallet and um, you'll have this right there kcc mainnet once you've added your kcc mainnet as such you click onto that and you this might be blank for you guys then what you need to do is on import tokens and then follow this address here so again i'll leave a link in the description below of this address you copy this in here you'll put your decimals as 18 so if i just do a quick example and um, that's copied come back to my metamask import tokens See that I've already added the token. Put your 18 in there and click next. And you'll be added, you'll added that token. And that will hopefully show your KCS coins in here. Um so that all should be in there. So you, you, you'll have your Ethereum in there. If you don't see anything in there, start to get a little bit worried because I'm not quite sure what will happen then. Um, if you do get stuck on this point, um leave a link um, or leave a comment below on the, on this video. You should see some sort of amount. Um, appearing here, I think it's in the Ethereum section, not the KCS. Sorry, you might see some. Hopefully, your Ethereum land um, back in this wallet. Unfortunately, so rare. Don't use the KCC network. So what you need to do is go back to step one and get that back into KuCoin um, and and use a different sort of network. So to get back to KuCoin, what you need to do is head back to KuCoin website, onto the trade and convert. Um, you know you'll need some ethereum or some sort of amount in qcoin so you wouldn't you make a very small deposit on qcoin literally like 59 cents or pence um be absolutely fine change that to ethereum so you've got ethereum and KCM, kcs on there if it says system busy trying later fill around these figures i did 0 0.005 or maybe seven there you go so it's two pound nine p um, or, or dollars whatever it might be um, to change that across you'll click confirm get that swapped over um at the same time so you have your kcs coin so you're, you're going to purchase some kcs coin over on qcoin and what you need to do then guys is come back to your withdrawal page on qcoin you're right now so you go on to qcoin here go on to your withdrawal section and then you'll see on here you want to withdraw your kc your kcs coin and you should have some saved and again just use your um wallet for your metamask so you're sending a little bit amount of kcs coin and um, use your use the kcc network and um, give that five or ten minutes or so just try and send a little bit of tokens to your wallet and then give you about five ten minutes or so and you'll see um you know your two pounds or two dollars whatever it might be in kcs over in your wallet here so you have some kcs you'll have some ethereum once you've done that click on the ethereum hopefully you have some ethereum in there you'll click the send button and you want to copy address so going back to qcoin you want to deposit deposit crypto and um, again just using ethereum make sure you click the kcc network of course yeah, that's really important and then copy that address and that address will go into that um you, you kind of that link you just saw just a moment ago ethereum send into that address 
um, hit the send button you'll have some gas fees which will be covered by the cases that you've just you just purchased and then that should land back in on qcoin um, moments later and obviously once you've got that um that kind of ethereum back on the site just make sure when you're coming to do this again um it back into your metamask use the erc20 next time it does cost higher fees but um it's the only network that Sorable Sorable use so use that network once you've done that come back to your metamask and then it will actually show in your ethereum mainnet account um, and then from then on you can then put it in your um Sorare account from there any problems from there should that that should be break four from there really connect your metamask account to your Sorare. And you'll you'll see your ethereum peer in the ethereum ethereum mainnet account I um, hope that's been useful guys if it has please drop it a like um, any questions ask away on my on my twitter thread or in the comment section below i'm no expert by the way um if you have sent your ethereum you know using a to a di different wallet so if you sent it to i don't know straight to Sorare or to coinbase or to binance for example i can't help with that unfortunately using the the kcc this video is mainly for those i've just used the kcc um heading into metamask if that makes sense Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.